Hi guys! Happy New Year! It's my first tutorial for 2023. And for today's tutorial, I'll show you on how to create and set up a Facebook or Meta Business Manager account. A Facebook Business Manager is a tool that allows you to manage multiple Facebook pages as well as your Instagram accounts. And you can also create and publish ads and all your business assets in one place. After mo mapanood ang tutorial na ito, siguradong makaka-create ka na at makaka-set up ka pa ng iyong Facebook Business Manager account. But before we start, paki-like naman and subscribe sa aking munting channel. Alright, so let's start after this intro. Okay, so first thing to do is go to Google, and then search for business.facebook.com. So after mo maklik yan, ito ang lalabas guys. So before you create an account, so you have to log in first. Okay, so click log in. And then after that, create an account. So click this. Alright, so ito ang lalabas guys. Fill up this. Anong business name mo? Yung page name mo? Or depende sa'yo. Okay, so for this ads manager, so ilagay ko dito, RQ Creations. Then, automatic ito malalagay ng name mo dito and then dito lagay mo yung uh, business email o kung may separate email ka for business talaga so pwede yan ang ilagay mo dito but anyway pwede yung kung may personal email ka uh, gmail okay so pwede yun pwede rin yun no? after you fill up click submit okay so RQ Creations was created so confirm your email address okay so click done Alright, so ngayon, I'll show you naman kung paano iset up ang iyong business manager account. So, ganito yung view, ganito yung setup na makikita mo. In case hindi pa naka-business settings yung account mo, so pwede mong hanapin ang business settings dito. Pero sa akin, naka-business settings na siya guys. Or just in case lang. So, dito mo hanapin. I-click mo ito. So, ang una mong gagawin is click Pages. So, hanapin mo ang pages. Then, click this one. Okay. Ang pages, dito mo i-add yung mga pages mo. So, kung may isa kang page, pwede. No? Kung marami, pwede rin. Pero kung isa lang, uh, just in case lang, in, in the future, gagawa ka ng ibang page. So, i-add mo lang dito. Click this one. Okay. And then, may makikita kang tatlong options. Add a page. Request access to a page. And, create a new page. Pwede ka mag-create dito ng page. For this tutorial, so click po itong add a page. And then, sa pag-add ng page guys, pwede mo i-type dito yung page name mo or ang URL ng iyong page. So, you have two options. For example, ito guys. Okay, itong page ko na to. Shirt Bees. So, i-type ko dito. Oh, so, automatic na siya makikita guys kasi ako yung admin nito. Akong owner ng page na to. Pwede mo i-click ito directly or pwede rin yung link. Uh, just in case lang. So, pwede mo i-copy dito yung link. Dito mo i-paste. Alright. So, that's it. After that, click add page. My request now was approved automatically. Okay. So, yun. Close. And then, para makita mo kung okay na ba talaga. So, puntahan mo yung page mo. Uh, i-click mo itong notification. Kung mag-add ka pa ng another page. So, add a page. Add page. Ayan. So, automatically approved. So, ito guys. Okay na siya. Pero, hindi lahat ng page ay maa-approve automatically. Kasi may mga page na may problem or may issue. Iba't ibang situation guys. Ipapakita ko lang sa inyo. Okay. Add page. So, ito guys. Meron siya. A page is associated with a commerce account and cannot be removed. Please disable the commerce account first before trying again. Okay. So, dahil sa commerce account, hindi siya ma-add directly. So, kailangan ko muna i-resolve ito no, para ma-add ko itong page na to. Pero hindi lahat ganito yung sitwasyon. No? May iba-iba-ibang ano guys, pinapakita ko lang sa inyo na hindi lahat basta-basta ma-approve. So, i-resolve mo lang kung anong problem about that page. And then, sa so pag-add ng iyong payment method, Okay, so kailangan para makaraan ka ng ads, so kailangan ma-fill upan mo yun. Okay, so ang gagawin mo is uh, scroll down ka lang and then hanapin mo yung, i-click mo itong payment methods. Click this one. 
Okay, so as an admin, you can assign the finance editor role to yourself or someone who has access to your business account. So assign to myself. So next. And then sa pag-fill up, dapat Philippines to. As you can see, sa currency dollars, yeah, US dollars, kailangan mo palitan yan. So kailangan mo palitan yan, okay? Hanapin mo yung Philippine peso. Then sa pag-add ng uh, payment method, so kailangan may debit or credit card ka. Now, pwede dito yung GCash card. Okay, may GCash card ka, pwede. Basta may ano siya, Visa at saka MasterCard. Ayan. So, pag meron na, so click next. So, fill up this one. Name on card, card number. Okay, so ito lahat. And then, click save. Alright, so if ever naman na gusto mong may mag-manage sa iyong uh, business manager account, so pwede yun. Kailangan mo mag-invite ng certain person para mag-manage. Okay, so all you have to do is uh, click this one users and then hanapin mo yung people Ayan. to add or to invite certain person para mag-manage sa iyong business manager account so click this one add madali lang guys ang pag-invite i-type mo lang dito yung email address niya for example this one okay and then click and then dito may dalawang options guys either employee access or admin access but recommended itong employee access guys As you can see, we recommend adding people as employees They can only work on assigned accounts and tools So ito yung recommended So actually, automatic na siya naka-select Ito naman, admin access Kung gusto mo yung mag-manage ng iyong account is Have full control over your business They can edit settings, people, accounts, and tools After that, click next Then, select the page na gusto mong i-manage niya. For example, this one. And these are the task access. Okay, so it's up to you, no? You have the control kung anong maa-access niya sa iyong business manager account. Sa pag-manage niya sa iyong page or sa iyong uh, Facebook ads. For example, this one, create, manage, or delete posts, stories, and more ads the page. Okay, so kung isa yan sa mga tasks niya, so click mo to. And then sa ads naman, create, manage, and delete ads for the page. Okay, so, ibigay mo siyang right for that. So, select this one. After that, invite. Okay, invitation sent. After that, click done. Ayan, so, pending siya guys. Kasi, kailangan pa itong i-confirm ng iyong in-invite. So, ganun lang kadali guys. Alright, so that's all for today's tutorial. If you learned from this video, like naman and don't forget to subscribe. And comment down below kung nakatulong sa'yo ang video ito. Thanks for subscribing, God bless, and enjoy life!